hello everyone in this video we'll see the extrusion 3d algorithm in salome mecca and so i got myself here a box and let's go about meshing it but before that i created a two groups here one is a face group and another one is an edge group here that just comprises of one side edge so let's see the algorithm i'll create a mesh and select extrudes in 3d and for 2d and 1d i'll select nothing then i'll create a sub mesh and i'll create a sub mesh over this group here and i'll select quadrupel mapping for one day i'll select wire discretization and say number of segments be equal to 10 again i'll create a sub mesh now i'll select this edge here over here okay first we need to select the parent mesh and then select the edge and then change my wire discretization to 10 and let's just compute it okay so our meshing is complete and we get all hexas but suppose we need prisms here so what exclusion 3d does is first it meshes the seed face right now it's quadrangle map and then it just extrudes it into a direction that is sweepable so as to mesh the entire body uh, let me show you so if i edit my submission face from quadrangle to net gen uh, 1d 2d so i'll keep my default parameters here let me change the max size to 10 and minimum size to 5 ok now let's recompute the mesh and now what you see that the top face is meshed in uh, triangles and the same may have been extrapolated onto the other face so all our prisms here if I just do a clipping over here we can see that there are only prisms inside so extrusion 3d is used to just extrude a base mesh into a sweepable direction I can edit my sub mesh uh, on the face from only triangles to a combination of triangles and hexadrals and uh, quadrangles so I'll check my allow quadrangles option if I remesh it okay so my base face is only quadrangle map because it is kind of simple geometry so I'll uncheck it top face has been meshed in quadrangles only let's try a few more settings yeah so it's only meshing in quadrangles okay so this was my first example now let's look at another kind of geometry so now we have a tapered object 
and we need to mesh this into extrusions and it is see it all it is also a sweepable object the only difference is now that the end face is scaled version of the starting face so we can make similar groups over here first one is the seed face and then one of the edges to allow for the discretization on the sides so let's go ahead and create a mesh on this one again I'll select extrusion 3d and then 2d at 1d I'll leave it empty now creating a sub mesh I'll try in engine one day two day again I'll create a sub mesh on one of the edges and choose wire discretization to be a given number of segments let's just compute it so wow so you can see i have created a mesh with a very large element size and i can of course change that i'm going to some mesh and changing my 2d parameters to be 10 and 5 maybe Sass for quadrangles too. Computing again, still meshing in quads. But of course, I can change my sub mesh here, and then check quadrangles. So I only get triangles. Now let's see. Yeah, so now you see what only prisms here, no hexahedrons. So, these are some of the ways in which we can use extrusion 3D algorithm. Thanks.